right now, I've got something that's really cool that y'all need to see. Isn't that pretty? That's a beautiful piece right there. <laughs> hey, Paul, do it again. No, I'm not doing it again. Go ahead. No, Dance for me, Paul. This is a Shelby Daytona done by Superformance. Yeah, so we're gonna have a little conversation with Jeff and I'm gonna go over a couple of things about the car and uh, tell you some stuff about the motor, transmission, why it's in here in the first place. Yeah, so it's a Superformance Shelby Daytona. It's actually a 64. It's 64. Mm -hmm. And it's designed, you know, it's a it's a 64 replica, but it's a it's it's registered as a 2020, which is kind of cool actually. Um, because they still include that Shelby plate that's right there, if you can see it. That's actually the VIN number for the car, and Superformance is the only company that's, that's licensed by Shelby in this manner, and they're the, they're the only company that actually still has both, well, they have two um, molds for, either two or three left for the, for the original Daytona shape of the car, but these things were actually made out of aluminum when they were new. Um, back in the day, so if you find an aluminum car, whereas this car right here we could get, you know, 275s, about what he spent on it. If you find an original, they're like seven and a half million. So seven and a half million dollars. <laughs> Sounds pretty serious. That's nothing. We can definitely pick some up. Seven and a half million dollars. The last one I saw was seven and a half million dollars, and it was, but it had the good like. Had the real authentic Gurney Eagle heads on it. Everything was true Shelby, authentic 64 aluminum. Um, you know, big built, uh, big built V8. So I mean, it, you know, I mean, I mean, I can see that. It just seven and a half million dollars. So the motor on this one is a Roush 427 IR, and um, on the R motors, they're an intake with a you know like a four barrel carburetor. The IRs are the ones that have the ITB setup like this. So it's about 565 horsepower crate. Um, and um, and it's a pretty efficient motor. It's 351 Windsor based 427 stroker. Um, and then it's mated to a T56. Um, this is particular transmission is a Ford spec transmission. Um, and then we got that little teeny baby drive shaft about that long. And then it goes into a really interesting Jaguar rear suspension. So so that's actually clutch and brake reservoirs. And it's got independence because uh, you know we're able to take fluid from this reservoir, send it down to that Tilton 6000 throw out that we're using. Um, it's got a running a center force Dyad XDS clutch as well. So these uh, are filters in here? Yeah, they're screen filters and they're designed to keep the debris out for the most part. The problem is once you start getting like, if you have oil leaks and the oil's vaping up or whatever, these things don't really stop that. They're really just designed to keep strong sand debris that come in from these on the top of the hood, um, they're designed to keep that kind of debris out. Here, you can see right through, you know. So they don't, they don't really cover a whole lot except for like larger, large debris. And I guess, obviously that's all well and good, but when oil vapor gets drug up into these throttle bodies, throttle bodies rely on a little bit of air gap between the barrel and of course the plate so that it can idle. And that oil will come up and get trapped right along that ring where where that air gap needs to be and the car will just run terrible. Now you pair that with a big choppy camshaft, driving in traffic is nearly worthless. But when you're standing on it and this thing is wide open, I don't know that there's any comparison to running a car with individual throttle bodies. <laughs> Damn, that's 
That's bad. I like that. Mm. That's loud. <laughs> and because the hood does have extractors and intakes and all kinds of things, so it does get pretty dirty in here pretty quick. Um, I've, I can't tell you how many times I've cleaned this engine compartment. Then, of course, if I rinse the car or wash the car, i got to go back and do it again. You got radiator? Yeah, and Superforms Designs is really cool. This is a, it's a carbon fiber shroud. Um, but what's neat about it is if you look on the outside of the hood, to keep the heat from the radiator off the motor and keep the motor running as cool and efficient as possible, because it's drawing its air into those ITBs, the radiator heat gets extracted right over the top of the hood. Wow. It's in here for what? For a trans, no, a clutch, right? Clutch, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's on its third or fourth now. So, Jesus. Yeah, it's, yeah, but this is a driver, this guy. You know, he drives this thing, and actually, I think he even daily is it part of the time. So, it, you know, anybody who doesn't know what a 64 Shelby Daytona is, this car was actually going to take the place of the Shelby Cobra for Le Mans. I am from Formula e. But then, obviously, that's when Ferrari got involved. This car never actually made it to be a true Le Mans champion because the GT40 basically cut it off. And it, it ran still, there was a couple of races it won, but it didn't get the full shot that it would have got if Ferrari didn't come out with such a flat exotic platform. Yeah, so the interior is, it's a custom interior that the installer actually did for, for our client. And generally you won't find the uh, Superformance Shelby's. They don't get done like this, this is this is rather unique. Um, generally, you'll have a black interior, and you'll have, you know, the old Shelby style instruments in it. So the entire dash actually got wrapped in this really interesting stainless-looking material. He opted for uh, two different two different browns. He wanted the darker mocha, and then of course the tan. Something about those two colors with silver just looks amazing. Uh, and then it's got one of those modern style, what's what appears to be a retro. It's like a retro sound radio, but you can. You can, it's Bluetooth capable and everything else. It's an authentic um, Shelby component and then it has the authentic Shelby knockoff on it. So whereas a factory wheel would have five lug nuts holding it on, this is the knockoff. Um, and it's just as easy as, you know, when you're racing, you got to do a quick swap. So you hit this thing and you spin that, that thing comes spinning off. You can snatch the wheel off, stick a new one on, spin that thing on, hit it with a hammer and go. But in this case, because we're using it as a street application, they are drilled and safety wired so that we don't lose a knockoff while we're going down the road. So they seriously hit it with a hammer? I'm sure they hit it with whatever they had in their hand, probably a wrench. Yeah, when it pulls into the pit, that's what they would do is they'd jack this thing up and then knock that thing hard. It would slide off, they could put a new wheel on, stick the new one on, and then, you know, spin it back on. So um, it was just meant for quick, quick change, ease, um, you know, and go. But they've lost them before, which is why these things are safety wired, because when they come off, you only get one shot. Look at that hood. I think it's massive. Whole front of the car comes up. All right, well, that's all we got for this car. I hope y'all like it. Man, this thing looks good. It's a really, really cool piece. It's kind of weird for uh, this car to be in here in a muscle car shop, but we take stuff like this whenever we get the chance because, I mean, you can't turn that down. That's, that's just a crazy piece. It's just, just crazy. And we did have a Superformance uh, 63 vet come in. Yeah, the Grand Sport vet. And um, I'm hoping that guy brings that thing back by, not for service, but just to bring it by so I can show you guys that thing next time because it's, it's really, really, really cool car. Very awesome looking. So that's all we got, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, for sure. So I'd like to know what y'all think about um, the channel and what we should do next. Um, I want to do a feature on a car. Um, well, multiple cars. I want to do a feature on a lot of cars. And I just need you, your guys' input on that, on what you think the car should be. So which one would you guys like to see the most? Um, there's a lot of different cars in here. We got 57 Chevy, we got Challengers, Camaros. Every once in a while we get that, that odd car in like the Shelby Daytona. So um, just, you know, throw a comment in there and tell me what you would like to see. 
and also we got we got shirts being made. So we're working with Bunker Branding to have shirts made and designs. What would you guys like to see as far as designs go? That's kind of something we've been throwing around a little bit here and there. I really need that feedback and I need the comments because if I don't have any of that stuff, I, I really don't know what direction to go in aside from the things we do daily here for work. Uh, another video coming up pretty soon is um, at, it's basically a shop walk around and everybody's specific job and what they do here, how we got started, the showroom and everything like that, the paint booth with Jaime and painting and it just goes on and on. There's, there's many, many, many things to film in here but uh, I just, I'd like to know what y'all think about it. Um, I hope y'all liked the last video. Uh, I got a lot of good comments on it as far as the, um, the, the technical side of everything goes uh, the bead rolling the metal break and how to do all that stuff and but that last video is pretty cool if you didn't see it go check it out it's the i don't even know what it's called i can't remember i can't remember what it's called but either way it was the demo cuda uh, where we did all these bead rolls and everything for the floor building transmission tunnel and all that good stuff uh, go and check out our instagram it's at muscle rod shop uh, we got some good stuff on there check it out Follow it if you would like. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell if you will for newer videos coming out. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.